Welcome back to the Tacoma Beast channel where as you all know, it's all about the taco. In this video, I'll be going over the last few upgrades we'll be adding to this truck before we give it away to one lucky winner. Every dollar you spend on our giveaway collection will automatically get you entered for a chance to win this fully upgraded truck plus $15,000 cash. We have new merch out, so make sure to take advantage and don't forget that December 31st will be your last chance to get entered to win. Now, it's time for us to do the final mods to this truck before the winner gets their hands on it. Make sure to stick around because at the end of this video, we'll be showing you how many miles this truck has. The first mod we're going to be talking about is re-gearing. This is a mod that you should do the second you upgrade to bigger tires. Since we installed 35 inch tires on this truck, we knew we had to install 529 gears. Not only are we dealing with 35 inch tires, but also the weight that we've been slowly adding to the truck throughout the year. My personal truck has been re-geared to 529s for four years now, and I totally forgot the difference it makes to re-gear. It's honestly a game changer. The truck went from being a complete sloth to shifting when it needed to and turning the 35 inch tires with ease. If you're planning on installing lockers, I recommend to do it at the same time you re-gear to save on labor cost. Make sure to follow the break-in process to make sure the gears sit properly and avoid problems down the line. We won't go into much detail as we already have a detailed video explaining everything you need to know about re-gearing. If you're interested in learning more about re-gearing your Tacoma, then make sure to click the link up here. The second mod we'll be installing today is the Best Top Super Top for Truck 2. This is an awesome mod to keep everything you have in the bed of your truck protected from the elements. I'm never going to forget how dusty it got out on the Pony Express. Everything in our truck beds were completely caked with dust. After dealing with that, I knew that for the next build, I had to keep the bed protected from dust and any weather. The Best Top was quick to install as the directions were very simple and straightforward. Before you start to install this product, make sure to leave the topper cover out in the sun. This makes it easier to stretch when installing it. The material stiffens up when it's cold. The best thing about the topper is that it's convertible. It folds and tucks away so you have full access to the bed of your truck. When the topper is back to its original state, it has the option to remove the side windows, allowing you to have easy access to the side of your bed. It also comes with the option to install a third brake light, which you normally don't see on most toppers. The railing system that comes with the super top for truck 2 does not require any drilling and is compatible with the best top tunnel cover for truck 2, which gives you the option to switch between a tunnel cover or a soft topper. Not only does it serve its purpose of keeping the elements away, but take a look at how it gives the truck character as well. Moving on to the next mod, we're going to be installing the extrusion bed rack. This bed rack will act as an exoskeleton for our topper so we can mount a rooftop tent and add accessories to the side of our truck. What I love most about this bed rack is that it is compatible with almost all soft toppers and tunnel covers. As for the installation, I'm not going to lie, it was a long and tedious process. The kit comes with a lot of parts and you have to build a rack from the ground up. After building this rack, I was able to see how well built and sturdy the extrusion bed rack really is. I am proud to have collaborated with Extrusion Overland to have the Tacoma Beast extrusion bed rack available for you guys. The bed rack mounts to the bed rails in a way that gives enough clearance for the best stop super top to fit like a glove and would also work with the tunnel cover as well. The only feature lost when the bed rack was installed was the ability to fold the topper. But now we can add the accessories to the side, which is perfect for the setup we're going for. Another feature worth mentioning is that the rack comes with four handles so it's easy to access the roof of your Tacoma or rooftop tent. This bed rack is available in various height configurations. We decided on the one that was roof rack height so that the rooftop tent could clear the roof rack allowing us to fit a longer tent. The extrusion molly panels on the side of the bed rack allowed us to fit the following. A Demo shovel, which is a retractable shovel that is surprisingly sturdy, it has been rated at over 400 pounds of force. Is 33 inches when its telescoping handle is fully extended. Whether you're going to use it to dig yourself out of a sticky situation or use it at camp, this is a shovel that can take whatever you throw at it. And to store it, use a threaded locking nut to mount your shovel and use a master lock to secure it. Then we have the water port, which is 3.5 gallons of pressurized portable water that you can take on any adventure. Add pressure as you fill it with a standard garden hose or use the optional pump cap to pump it up while on the road. You can even connect a bike pump or air compressor to the included valve and add up to 40 PSI. If you want to release pressure, you can use the blowout valve that's on the side of the water port. The day tank has four available mounting options, hitch mount, bar mount, platform mount, and bed rail mount. 
we decided to go with the bed rail mount, which fits perfectly onto the molly panel, allowing us to remove the tank with ease. And for the last mount, we have the Expedition Essentials 10 pound tank mount. This mount is a secure, quick opening and locking solution for mounting the commonly used 10 pound propane tank. Not only does it fit a 10 pound tank like a glove, but it also locks it in place by using a special key and compression lock. For me, having a propane tank in our overland rigs is essential since it gives me the opportunity to use our heaters, grills, and now the new lava box fire pit that kept us warm throughout our Mexico trip. Now that the best stop super top and extrusion bed rack have been installed, it's time to mount our limited edition CVT Mount Shasta rooftop tent. For the longest time, I've wanted to collaborate with CVT, a tent company who has manufactured high quality tents for the past decade, and I wanted to create a custom design for the tent's canvas. Out of the four options we offer, we decided to go with the Mount Shasta. The Mount Shasta was designed to comfortably sleep two adults plus a dog or a small child. You can also upgrade the tent to have an annex room to add an extra bedroom beneath the tent. Up top, the tent has two windows for airflow and to stargaze at night before going to sleep. The tent comes with a telescoping ladder, making it easy to set up and tear down. It should not take you more than five minutes to set up or pack away. As promised at the beginning of the video, I was going to share with you how many miles this truck currently has. And as you can see, it only has 4,811 miles. It's basically brand spanking new. Ladies and gentlemen, I've poured my heart into this build for the past year, and it's safe to say it's officially ready for one lucky winner to take it home. Remember, there's only a few more days to get entered, and all you have to do is spend one dollar. Every one dollar you spend on our giveaway collection will automatically get you entered for a chance to win this fully built out Toyota Tacoma plus $15,000 cash. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below. Get entered to win. Something as simple as this $10 patch can get you 10 entries. Go get entered to win.